Medical debt has been a topic of discussion for us recently, what it is, how we all end up paying for it, and are there ways to reduce it? You know the fastest way to do that in Wisconsin, get more coverage to more families? Expand Medicaid to about 90,000 of our neighbors who could have had it over the past decade or so if Republicans hadn't been blocking it. Joe Zapecki helps us do the math. Most of the hospitals and medical providers in this country are for-profit. And if they are taking an L on folks who come into their emergency rooms and they are required to treat them, those costs have to be defrayed somewhere, somehow. And so either private, uh, you know, privately held insurance companies and their end users will end up footing the bill for it, or the government will have to pay the highest premium for it to keep those providers in business. Whereas if you have some established reimbursement rates and a Medicare coverage, if people know that they can go to the doctor if they are feeling ill and we can catch some of these things earlier, that's where preventative healthcare is so important because when things are an emergency, when people are the sickest or the most badly injured, that's when it costs the most. This helps actually push down the cost of healthcare for everybody.